Hey guys, so something I left out of the uh, control, making custom controls tutorial, was the uh, idea of mirroring controls over. Like, so say if I had uh, a shoulder pad on this side that I wanted to control as well, or say that I had another ponytail back here. So it's, uh, it's not too difficult to get going. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do is click your control, right? And then remember we have that secret group under all of me, uh, uh, underneath all of those. And what we're going to want to do is to first sort of detach our parent constraints that we set up uh, to those to those joints right here. So if I go and then press F in the outliner and find those, uh, you can see. All of these, oh, and I didn't even name these joints. Yeah, that's going to need to change. So I uh, let, me, let me take care of that first because that's pretty important uh, down the line. Not not exactly for this uh, class, but um, in the future, that's going to be pretty, pretty important because a lot of scripts interact with joint names and such uh, in, in the actual text. So your, your naming and all of those types of uh, one second. Just trying to make sure I get all those right. Um, your naming conventions are very important in this, uh, in these types of setups. So first thing I'm going to do. So remember, these parent constraints are how these uh, NURB circles control these joints. So ha if I delete this node right here, you'll see it's on that, uh, or not on that one, on this joint three. It has this parent constraint and that forwards to that uh, circle. So I'm going to delete that. You notice this is uh, joint two's parent constraint to that control, and this is joint three's parent constraint. So I'm going to delete that as well. So now these are no longer driven by these circles. So if I if I select if I select all these and start moving around. Nothing happens. And that's exactly what we want because uh, we're going to be removing these from the hierarchy. Because remember, you you need the, in those three steps, you need the joints to be in the right place for whatever you're going to animate, and then you need your control rig to be in the right place on top of those joints, driving those joints before we attach those joints to the mesh. So, without further ado, uh, I'm going to select this first joint. And I'm going to do Shift P, which is unparent, op which is the unparent operation. It's the exact opposite of parent, and that's, don't confuse that with parent constraining. So I just unparented that. So I have this free-floating joint chain that's not in any hierarchy and it's not being driven by any nerves. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to duplicate that, which is Control D. You'll see I have this new Grandma SH hair joint five. So I'm gonna rename that to Grandma SH because S SH stands for single hierarchy. Remember, you guys aren't using that. I'm I'm using that though because I am going into a game environment uh, on account of me being a huge nerd and making my own video games. So I'm gonna put an R right before that hair joint uh, part of the of the name. Uh, R standing for right because we're going to mirror that over to the right side of grandma. Then I'm going to do the same for uh, joint 2, R, it, hair joint, and just completely down this hierarchy. You can also, I believe, double click these in here. Yep. So I'm just going to do that since they're easily accessible here. Don't have to go all over my screen, you know, selecting them. So I have this whole joint chain as a separate joint chain. You can see both of them right there. So what I'm going to do is mirror these over with... Uh, hmm. Well, there's, there's, there's a couple ways you can kind of do this. And I'm going to do it uh, with a group. So if you go to edit and then group right here, I'm going to expand this window. And I'm going to... Reset settings. So now it's going to group the pivot under the origin. I'm going to do group. And so you'll see that I have this empty group in the hierarchy that has all those joints under it, the duplicated ones. 
Now I can just kind of move that group around. And I'm going to scale that group in negative 1. You'll see now that these all mirrored over right there. Uh, I believe there is also in the rigging panel skeleton. I think there is a mirror joints tool. Yeah, mirror joints. Um, so let's see how that works. Uh, I'm gonna, so I'm going to undo that mirroring of those, and I'm going to undo that grouping just to see how this works, because I'm not super familiar with this tool. It says uh, mirror across XY, YZ, or XZ. So we're going to go with YZ, because Y is up here, and Z is left. So that leaves us with X, which is the one that we're basically mirroring across. I don't know why it just doesn't say mirror across X uh, instead of YZ. Um, hmm, mirror function behavior orientation. Oh, let's just leave that at default. What, what are the default settings? Uh, X, Y is not going to do any good. Uh, and then let's do, let's try it. Apply. Yeah, okay, so yeah, did the same thing. Very dope. So that's how you would mirror joints as well. Um, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that method. It is kind of messing up the orientation of these, though. Notice how they're. Uh, notice how the uh, pivot on this one is pointing down the chain, but this one is pointing uh, against the chain, which might work. Um, so I'm going to go back before we mirrored them. I'm going to click that again. Let's do orientation as well. And apply. Mm, it kept the orientation. That's kind of whack. All right. Well. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'll just stick with behavior then. All right, so that's one way to mirror it, and the grouping is another way to mirror them. Uh, and that's the group method is the same method that we're going to use on these controls. So you might want to do that just to be familiar with it, because there's no like mirror controls tab up here, because controls are all just created by us. Maya doesn't really create them. Well, I mean, it does in this create menu, but like we're we're making all of the. Uh, we're making all of the functionality of them, you know, so it, it's not, it's not going to really apply to that. Uh, but so the first step is to um, select that first control. And then if you have this buffer sort of control group to keep that orientation, then what you're going to want to do is uh, go into the hierarchy after pressing F to find where it is in there and then selecting that group because we need that group to be mirrored over as well. So I'm going to uh, control D that group. So now we have a second one of that. And uh, you would go through and rename them all to like R hair. And then these would be L hair as well. Um, just to just to notate that this is the left uh, group of controls and this is the right. Uh, so now we have this extra group of, of controllers. And what we're going to do is uh, shift P. Remember how we did with the joints to bring them out of that hierarchy. Now they're just free floating and you can see that they're just in the middle of nowhere. We're going to do control G to group, scale it on negative one on X and then they're mirrored over and then you just do your uh, your classic parenting. First we're parenting those joints so I'm pressing P on that and then I'm going to find that group. Uh, remember we always select child and then parent so when you're when you're doing just regular parenting, so now this left one moves with that. Yep, and now we have to reparent. Oh wait, no, we left this one in here. Wait a minute, why didn't that move with the? What, what, oh wait, it is. Okay, all right, I miss saw what was going on. Uh, so we need to do child and then parent and then P for parent for those joints. And then we need to do we need to set up our constraints so they're actually driving the so these circles are actually driving these joints. I know it's kind of a freaking mess to look at in here. Um, I would probably shape these controls differently, uh, but this is fine for now. Uh, so remember, parent constraints. You do the driver and then the driven for a parent constraint. Driver then driven. Oh my gosh, this manipulator is being annoying. Driver, driven, and then go up to constraints, parent, driver, and driven. 
and I'm just going to press G to repeat the last operation. Wait a minute. Did not even... Oh, wait. Uh, I didn't shift click, so driver, then driven, and then G. You'll see that it did a parent constraint in the script menu, or the script editor, and then driver, then driven, G, driver, driven, G, driver, driven, uh, remember, you can always go up to this menu instead of pressing G, uh, but G is repeat your last tool, so just keep that in mind. You'll see now that all my uh, joints have these blued, blue, blue out, uh, blue highlighted channels, and then uh, that means that they're driven from somewhere else. This one obviously didn't, it didn't work. Wait a minute. Oh, I must have clicked the wrong thing. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. This one's all blue. Hmm. I feel like there's a bug in Maya right now. Yeah, I did select that. You saw how it wasn't blue. Well, I mean, they are still driven by it. You see the, because they're they're highlighted in pink, so you know that they're they're driven by that. But yeah, so that's pretty much it for mirroring joints over and kind of like joint functionality, I guess. But uh, yeah.